Hello everyone, Alexander Clark here and today I am going to teach you how to wrap your knees. This video is designed to run in conjunction with my article in issue number 38 of British Strength Magazine which is called Raw With Wraps. Um, if you did not get here via that article then you can head over to BritishStrengthMagazine.com and subscribe to British Strength Magazine. Uh, if it's a back issue by the time you watch this then you're entitled to all the back issues for free when you subscribe. Anyway, let's get to it. So, this is a standard method. Wiley Sung has done a video, which you can also find on here, on what I will call the crisscross criss -cross method. Um, what you'll need is one knee wrap, two is even better, a lifting strap, preferably a smooth nylon one. I forgot mine today, so a great uh, substitute is a length of rope, and I will tell you why we need that later. I will show you why we need that even. Um, and some chalk for your hands and for your knees, um, which I have pre-applied on my knees. Um, the chalk for your hands is to help you grip the wrap better, and the chalk for your knees is to help the wrap grip your knees better. Okay, okay so we're gonna start with our knees chalked, leg out straight. So knee and extension, you don't have to contract your quad super hard or anything. Just make sure that your leg's straight because you don't want to wrap your knee with a bent leg. Okay, so your wrap is pre-rolled. I like to pre-roll mine tight, but not too tight. The reason being if it's too tight, it can ping out of your hand really easily when you're wrapping. And that can be disastrous, especially on comp day. So, the thing I like to do is I like to wrap from in to out, okay? Some people like to go a different way, but this is what I've found has worked for me over the years and what makes me feel stronger when I'm squatting, okay? So I like to do the first revolution, that's go round from behind. So, I get the wrap tight even when I'm pulling it onto my patella and then out to the side and secure it anchor it down onto the knee so there's your first rev I'm not gonna wrap a hundred percent here because I want to be able to focus on teaching you how to do it uh, and plus when you're a beginner you're not gonna be going for like uh, balls to the wall type wrap straight away you're gonna be doing it you know a medium uh, tightness to start off with so however what you will notice is that I'm tightening the wrap all the way through when I'm putting it on because I've only pre-rolled it to a medium tightness. So I'll be tightening it to the side, to the top, to the other side, to the back, as we put the second revolution on, which will cover half of the first revolution. So you go halfway up the first revolution that you did, which will bring me personally halfway up my kneecap. So now I do the third revolution, again, keeping it tight. And that's going to cover, again, half of the last rev that you just laid down. And now I've got the top of my kneecap pretty much covered. One more revolution up, which will cover my quad tendon, which is just above the kneecap. Then we're going to go diagonally across the kneecap, downward. Diagonally across the kneecap upward. And then with your remaining revolutions, you're going to keep going around the kneecap and maybe slightly above. Okay. For the sake of demonstrating this, let's say I'm at the point of where I have one revolution left and maybe a tiny bit more. I'm going to take my lifting strap or what we've improvised today. I'm going to tie this off and there's a trick to this. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold the length of rope in this case in half to make a loop. I'm going to lay that loop on our knee where we want to tie it off, okay? So I've got that down there. Now I'm going to secure that in place and I'm going to do my final revolution with the loop sticking out the bottom. I must say it's easier to work with an actual lifting strap. Then 
as I come through I've got a lot of wrap left here if you're doing a tight wrap or wrapping properly you probably don't want this much left I could probably have fit another rev in there but I'm doing this just to show you how to wrap without having to put too much effort into it myself okay and when you've come round then you're gonna thread the remaining wrap through the loop created pull it nice and tight and then with these tails you are gonna pull the wrap through the revolution that you just made and what you should end up with is a nice little bow type structure at the end this is a very very big one like i say i am just doing this to show you um, i'm doing a very soft wrap and i'm just doing this to show you how to wrap rather than doing a full uh a full bore wrap if you will and what this will do by the end of the wrap is create a quick release mechanism you pull on the bottom of the bow after you finish squatting it all comes loose really easily if uh if you've got a tight pair of wraps on and you've wrapped it such that there isn't that quick release mechanism it can be very very stressful so with my other wrap here i'll show you again quickly on the left side so leg out straight first rev on the patella tendon wrapping in to out nice and tight tensioning all the way around halfway up the first rev halfway up the second rev halfway up the third rev to create four revs up x across the kneecap and then let's say i have maybe two revs left there one okay one more rev two i might create a nicer bow here get my loop final rev tight pull it through yeah that's a much nicer bow see and then we have our quick release mechanism to let it go at the end and that is how you wrap your knees